Hi, Jordan and Damien from Team KDS, and today we're going to be doing a maintenance tip video. So as we have right here, we have some retaining clip pliers. So here's the brand. If you're interested in purchasing this tool, this is very useful for pulling these clips as it shows on the same kind of clip on the tool. And we've got our KDS brushless motor. So these are very powerful motors, and with any motor, you have bearings, and it's very important that bearings are oiled. So we recommend every 50, 25 to 50 flights to remove even any motor, to take your motor apart, just like this video, and oil your bearings. A lot of people take their oil, and this oil right here is automatic synthetic transmission fluid, which works very nice for the bearings. Most people just oil this bearing. Uh, it's really important. You can still get in through this way, um, around the inside of the holes of the motor, but the way that we're going to show you is going to be a lot more beneficial to check for wear and all of the important stuff on your motor. So the first thing to start is you're going to take your tool. Uh, you're going to take these little pins, set them in the retaining clip, slightly start pull, uh, pulling it, squeezing it, and you don't want to over squeeze this, just enough so it goes around the shaft, and then let go. We're going to put the retaining clip to the side. We're going to pull our brass washer, be careful not to lose any of these parts because they're very important. And then take your fingers inside the holes or get some grip at the bottom, and you're just going to want to pull this apart, just like so. So you're going to have this winding. Make sure you don't throw this accidentally when taking this apart. You could damage your motor. Um, so now you have your motor can and your stator. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our oil and we're going to start by applying the oil around the edge of the bearing where the race is with our syringe. And this bottle I'm using is for acrylic type glues, so it's a needle type. And then go on the other side of it, and then simply just apply the oil around the bearing carefully, the other side. And then on the bottom, we'll take our syringe and apply our oil to the other bearing. Just like so, around the outer edge too. And then we can go in through the other side and then go and put oil around that bearing. So just like that. And then the next thing, just to make sure that it makes the shaft a little bit easier to slip on, is just put a little bit of oil around the shaft. So it slips in nice and smoothly. You're going to take your two, your two parts. And also, when you have this motor apart, your motor in general apart, look inside and make sure that you don't have any unnecessary screws or debris that are stuck to the magnets that could do any damage to your motor. It uh, may be a good time right now just to uh, just slightly clean off the stator and the motor when you do this procedure. And be careful, you're going to notice there's some blue putty, don't pick that off because this putty is balancing putty. This balances the motor so that it runs nice and smooth so you're not getting any vibrations. So the next thing is we're going to take our motor and we're going to pop this together, just like so. And we're going to take our brass collar, slip that on, just like so. And then we're going to take our retaining clip as well and we're gonna pop that on also. So we're gonna get that on. And you're gonna notice your motor should run very smooth and this will uh, help extend the life of your motor bearings. Hope this video was helpful and please subscribe and have a nice day and fly.